Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a daily vlog. This marks the one month mark until we move. So I have to pack up some clothes. Michael already did his and I actually ordered some vacuum bags because I want to make things like as easy as possible and compact. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm really excited to put away my clothes because I'll be curating a capsule wardrobe basically and I'll be living off of those clothes for a month and I think it'll be fun. First things first, I have to eat some breakfast. I usually have oatmeal and for some reason I'm craving eggs. So I think I'm going to make some eggs. So here we have the oats, which is very simple. I didn't add too much in there, just flaxseed, maple syrup and cinnamon. And then we have the eggs, which are topped with chili powder, turmeric, salt, pepper, and ketchup, and the yolk is almost fully cooked because I have nothing to dip or mix, which is very sad. So I'm gonna eat the oatmeal first because honestly, I really want something savory, so I'm gonna eat the eggs last. Also, this is what I'm staring at right now. Excuse me, sir. No. So yeah, we have boxes over there, things over there. So this is the closet. As you can see, Michael has already gotten rid of a lot of his clothes. But he does have clothes in here, but um, yeah, it's very empty. My clothes, on the other hand, like I still have skirts and things that I know I won't be wearing because it's too cold now. I have a bunch of sweaters that I love, but I am not wearing as much of these as I thought I would. And like I have dresses out because I thought that I would layer and be cool, but I am not doing that. Many pairs of pants that I'm not wearing. And um, yeah, that's like undergarments and tops. Um, I don't go anywhere, so I'm going to put all of it away. So I put my hair up. We're going to go into the closet over there. I'm going to start tackling my clothes and deciding what I want to keep out. And here we have our special helper. <laughs> and these are the bags that I got from Amazon. What brand are these? Swobe? I don't know. But it was eight bags, four small, four large and they have the vacuum thing. I think it was like 12 or $13. And the only thing about these is that they're not um, like a square, like it doesn't flatten out, but it's okay. Two bags now I have a small one and a large one I have some laundry to do um, I'm pretty much gonna keep all the clothes that's in my laundry because it's mostly pajama shirts like I wear t-shirts to bed and scrubs and like just things that I wear all the time so I'm not going to put those clothes away but next we have to go into this dresser because I have all of my like fandom tees and I really don't need all of these right now so I'm going to put away a lot of that. This one's my pajama drawer, and this is actually pretty empty. I had a bunch of workout clothes in this one, but last week I went through and I pretty much like packed away most of my workout clothes. So I just have a little bit because I've actually, well, what's real bright. So I have some workout clothes because I've actually been wearing workout clothes at home just to be productive. I just feel like I'm more productive when I'm wearing something tight. I'm not wearing athletic wear today. I'm just wearing my Gymshark sweatpants, but this is all of the workout outfits that I have. And it's so refreshing, honestly. I'm like, why do I have so many workout clothes? But a lot of the stuff that I have is years old and it's stuff that I bought when I first started exercising. And then this bottom drawer is what? Oh, sweatshirts. So there's like four things, including my Harry Potter onesie. And then this top drawer is all my underwear and socks and stuff, which I think I can pack away most of because I honestly don't wear it all, which is kind of sad. So I'm going to start with the t-shirts. Also this entire time, I've been listening to piano music, specifically the piano chill playlist the one with that blue book stack i think 
yes, it's a book stack. And it just makes me feel like I'm in an anime or a Studio Ghibli film, and it's really relaxing. I don't know why I hadn't thought of listening to planet piano music like before, so I think this might be my new jam when I'm not listening to a podcast or a book because it's so relaxing. So not happy about the vacuum situation. I'm sorry, it's over for now. So you can see that I started putting stuff in that big box. It's the biggest box we have. I don't know where Michael got it, his parents or something like that. And we can't put heavy things in it because I don't want it to get too heavy. Even though the uh, clothing that is shrunken is quite heavy, that is it for now for the closet. I'm going to continue on with packing, of course. So you just have to look for more things to pack. So of course I had to show you guys the rest of the house, what is happening. In this room actually, we had two of the Calyx Ikea cube shelves, the brown ones, and we got rid of two of those because we don't know where, where they would go in our new place. So our bedroom is pretty much going to look something like it does now, which is having this dresser. Originally one of the Calyx cubes was there and this dresser was against this wall. And then behind me, over there, that is where the other one was, and I had my jewelry and stuff, so over here, my jewelry and everything is pretty much in shambles. So over here, it's just a mess because this is all the stuff that was on that shelf, minus the plant. This is actually our outdoor table that was in the living room for my herbology setup. And then I have a bunch of things down there, which is super great, and it's just a mess. This is stuff that was inside the cube shelving. It's not that many things, which is great. We have the luggage that our clothes will go in. And in the office, we had the twin bed here and we brought that to his parents' house. So I'm hoping to maybe film some videos here, but I'm not really sure what I'll be doing because this is a good spot for putting boxes, but I'm probably going to end up stacking boxes long here. I just have to go through all this and Oh my goodness, I have to pack those clothes. Thank goodness we have room for our shelving unit, well, the shelving unit in our new place because um, it was gonna be sad. Like, where are we gonna keep all of our stuff? So we can still have this set up in our laundry closet, but it won't be all of my stuff. It's going to be a mishmash of other things. And I don't know if we're going to be using this clothing rack in our new place because I don't know where it'll go. So yeah, I still have to pack up all my Harry Potter stuff. I'm trying to keep it out for as long as possible because I just don't want to, like, it makes me very happy, you know? And as far as having a desk, this is my desk situation. It's just the Alex drawers and the Linmon top, but the table actually is on wheels. I put it on these casters. The reason why I did that was for filming makeup tutorials so I could pull the table out and be in front of a big window, but honestly, I hardly film them now, so I don't really need that. It's getting saucy in here. So the desk that I have now is really simple. I like it. Um, I wish it was wider and more shallow in depth. I don't really need a desk that's wide and our new bedroom is going to be smaller. So I don't want it taking up so much of the, the space, you know, outwards because I have to account for a chair. So I have been looking online a bunch. There are some on Wayfair. I have like a whole list on Wayfair of ones that are possible possibilities. <laughs> so that is that. And I put away most of my makeup, so it's quite nice. This is kind of like a little experiment, just me living with less, which is quite cool. I'd like to get to that point eventually, but it's very difficult like when you get new things to get rid of things, but you still like things. So this room will no longer be 
It will be very interesting because we'll be in a one bedroom. So I'll be filming in the living room, which is really exciting, and my bedroom, or our bedroom. And I think it's going to be really nice and cozy, and I'm so excited because this room actually hasn't been what I wanted it to be. I liked having the twin bed, and I liked having the spare room as my office, that's what we call it, to keep all of my stuff in that closet because really I have a lot of stuff. My activities and interests include having things, like crafts, so that whole closet is like craft stuff, me like selling things, which I mean donating would be really easy, but I do have like things that I think I could sell, we shall see. Um, so that's going to be a thing for me. I have to like create my own little office section. Um, my Harry Potter collection is going to be kind of displaced. I don't really know where I'm gonna do that, I mean where I'm gonna put it. We do have the bookshelf that is over there, which is, you know, my Harry Potter bookshelf. And I'm not sure if it's going to go in the bedroom or the living room, sorry. I just don't want you looking at that mess because it's not good. Lighting is one thing that I'm kind of concerned about because since my desk right now is in front of a big window, I do actually have the huge softbox hanging and I don't even know if I've ever shown you guys that. I don't know if I'm going to have as much light as I want because of where the window is in our new bedroom. So that's going to be something that I'll have to figure out. And the desks that I've been looking at have mirrors like attached to them. So I think that's a really good thing. And I'm actually hoping to get rid of this Alex drawer and just have a desk with drawers. I'm going for three drawers because I'm so used to having drawers that are on the side, not in front of me. Like, you know, when you're sitting in front of a desk, like you don't want to have to pull something out that's at your stomach level. Like you want it to be to the side so you can really scoot up to the desk. So that's what I'm trying to find. So I might have to keep this, we shall see. I do not know. And all I can say is that I'm so excited. And I think I'm gonna get a ring light eventually to have that because it's a very small light. I should have gotten one a long time ago, but I've just made do with my soft boxes and my natural light. So a ring light would be really nice to have because it's so thin and portable and the soft boxes can go, but I can still have them for like filming in other spaces where there isn't as much light, we shall see. Let's move on to the living space because I do wanna show you guys some stuff that's going on in there. This is actually where we're going to put boxes that are packed or maybe back there and we'll move those boxes out here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm gonna try and make it look a lot better. Cause even though we want to pack all of our things, it's just not good to live in shambles because it's just, you know, stressing to look at. Is that correct English? It's stressful to look at. That's what I meant to say. So I'm gonna to try to put things, hide things. Maybe I'll throw a blanket over it to make it look good. Good morning guys, it is a few days later and I'm here to show you what I've done with my closet and all the clothes that I put away. Well, the aftermath of that actually, I'm not going to show you those clothes because what's the point? So I have four drawers full, well not even full in the dresser that I emptied out. And then my closet is quite empty. So I'm going to show you guys what I have. I actually have a bunch of things packed in that um, drawer set over there so i just did that right now actually because i had things that i had to wash and most of it was like summer stuff and i actually put away a lot of my workout clothes because let's be real i'm not really working out right now so let's head over to the dresser and we'll show you guys what's inside so these two at the bottom are basically empty that one's for sure empty but this one has two strapless bras you can see it in there and the reason why that's down there is because i actually ended up putting all of my socks, underwear, and bras in this top drawer, which was actually just for underwear and socks. So I have some bras back there, and my socks are just all ones that I love, a lot of my Harry Potter socks, and I put away a lot of the ones I used to work out. So this is actually so nice, having everything in one drawer, and I didn't want to smush these strapless bras in the back. So that's why that's like that. In here we have the athletic wear, and I got rid of a lot of the things that are for summer. And these are all the leggings that I basically wear right now, like if I'm at home or going out to run errands. And these are some long sleeve tops and some sweatpants that I like to wear at home. This is my t-shirt drawer and 
it's very empty as you can see i just have some t-shirts that aren't really pajamas and some other t-shirts like long sleeve ones i have a basic black crop top basic white crop top and some tank tops to wear underneath things and then this is my pajama drawer which is my favorite because it has all of my t-shirts to wear to bed my shorts and my pants oh that is out of place so yeah this is all i have here we have my side of the closet it's very empty i'm so proud so down here i have a bunch of tops these are mostly long sleeve tops as you can see like dressier ones and i just have one flannel out um and then some more casual long sleeve tops some nice t-shirts um, because i actually want to keep clothes out for the beginning of december so this will all be packed away and i can just put this in my closet when we move i have some skirts, three skirts, well, four skirts that are heavier, and some dresses just in case Thanksgiving, I don't know what I'm wearing actually, and then sweaters, and then more sweaters up there. I actually have too many sweaters out. This is the sweater I got from Target. It's by A New Day, and oh, it's upside down. This I got to wear underneath my Ron Weasley sweater. And I just have some jeans, three pairs of jeans, this is like a, a hoodie, a Brandy Melville one that I've had forever. Here we have some bathrobes, a hoodie, and over here is the most exciting. I keep saying everything is the most exciting, but this is so exciting because we have a lot of belts, especially me, and I just kept out the ones that were really nice, and I just feel like, why do I have other belts? Um, but yeah, different pants call for different belts so these ones i actually bought on amazon and i hardly wear them because i just don't know um yeah I'm, i keep trying to wear them but it's not working out this one i just love uh yeah basic you know black gray this fun one this is actually a vintage coach um so yeah i love that one so much we're now in the office and we've made a lot of progress in here it's starting to get echoey which is really funny the closet is pretty much packed up we took apart that shelf the other day so in here we just have things that i'm trying to sell minus my hufflepuff sweater and over here is the clothing rack that's pretty empty and i actually put away all my pops and stuff and here i just have some hair things and my camera gear because i wanted to empty out this um, alex drawer and it's empty pretty empty i think that's the only thing that's in there so yeah everything is pretty empty so that's all that i have out for my clothes for the next three weeks this actually is like the three week mark a little less than three weeks because it's actually a monday right now i forget the date and we move out on friday so a little less than three weeks we're excited um we're still packing so much packing to do still it's gonna start to get weird which i'm very excited about so that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing what i'm going to be wearing and keeping out for the next three weeks and into my move so thank you for watching i hope you're having a magical day and we'll see you guys in the next video bye